Good morning. Find your comfortable seat, get your wiggles out, twist, move, roll your shoulders, arch and contract your back, do your movements gently. Roll your ankles, roll your wrists. Sit up against the back seat of your chair. Lengthen tall through your crown, root through your sit bones. Draw your hammock up. We call our pelvic floor kind of like our hammock. So from your hip bone to hip bone, you have that hammock of muscles. So you're not squeezing like you're stopping the flow of urine. You're not pulling your belly in really tight like you're putting on tight pants. You're just have feeling a little lift as though you're trying to grab the seat from suction the seat up from all four front, back, side, side. You're trying to suction the seat up, but it's, it's gentle, a gentle lift. And then continue that lift through, up through the crown. So you're nice and tall. And then focus in on your breath. I want you to breathe into the very top of your chest, very right up underneath the clavicle. Feel your chest balloon out, your heart rise. And then as you exhale, feel your shoulders sag off your erect spine. And now I want you to breathe into your back. Allow your shoulders to roll forward slightly. As you exhale, feel your back kind of deflate down into that upright posture again. Pressing the breath into your back, opening up your rib cage, exhaling back to that tall spine, relaxed shoulders. Couple more breaths into your back, into your upper back where the lungs lie. Keeping that tall spine. And now breathe into your belly. Staying tall, but allowing the diaphragm to press down into the organs as you inhale. Exhale, draw the diaphragm up, pull the belly button, kind of scooping it in and up on the exhale. So as you're inhaling, focus on pressing the diaphragm down, not necessarily pushing the belly out. The belly is going to go out regardless. And on your exhale, lengthen and draw the belly button in and upward. The only one of these three breathing that really kind of feels natural is breathing in the front and the chest and lifting 
So when you do that, you kind of draw the belly in, helping the air go upward. But usually when you take a deep breath, you think about everybody pulls their belly in when they take a deep breath. Trying to kind of retrain our brain a little bit. And then spend a couple of breaths, switching between the three breaths. Feel the difference. Try and do all three at the same time, maybe. And then slowly bring your breathing back to natural without any control. Today we're going, as we do a few of our postures, I'm gonna direct your breath to one of those three locations. So keep those in mind. Drop your head forward, open up the back of your neck. Flip your hands over, palms up, and draw your back of your hand up to the very top of your hips. Press your elbows back and shoulders back. Let the head hang forward, make it feel heavy. You can either do a little tiny nose, or you can just wobble your head side to side. Start to lift your head up through center, chin to the ceiling. Keep your elbows back, lift the back of your hands off the chair and open up your hands, lead with your thumbs. Keep your elbows and shoulders back. Keep lifted through your neck. We're not gonna wobble, we're not gonna turn our neck. Open up your throat. Bringing your head back to neutral, keep your hands out to the side, turn your head to the right. Reach your left hand out. Bring the left elbow back in towards the back of your side. Turn your head left, reach the right elbow out. And bring it back in. Turn your head face forward. Flip your hands over. Relax your shoulders. Relax your elbows. Roll out your, roll it out if you'd like. And we're gonna put our right hand on our shoulder. Have our elbow facing forward. We're gonna. Deep breath, lift through the chest, up, down, and around and back. Come forward, deep breath, inhale, lift the chest up, reach. Exhaling around the back, allowing your chest to deflate. Inhale in the front, lift and reach. Exhale down around the back. Pause at the bottom, take a breath or two. We're gonna go around the back, starting with the inhale. Inhale, lift through the side body, lift, inhale. Lengthen, exhale, down the front. Inhale, lift in your side body. Exhale, down the front. One more lift, inhale, side body. Exhale, down front, release your hand, shake out your arm. 
Right arm, palm up. Take your left hand. We're going to press through our fingers. And we're going to push through the heel of our right hand and we're going to push it forward, straightening out your arm without locking your elbow. And relax it down. Hand to the back of the palm or the fingers and draw them towards the bicep. Relax, big circles. <clears throat> Sorry. Make sure you go both ways. And release it back to your lap. We're going to do the other side. So the left hand is going to go to the shoulder, top of the shoulder. Inhale on the front of the body, lift. Exhale around the back. Inhale, lift the heart, chest. Exhale around the back. Inhale in the front, lift. Exhale around the back, pause, lengthen through the crown. Take a breath or two. <clears throat> We're gonna go the other direction. We're gonna inhale back and lean right, opening the left side of the body. Exhale, come back up to tall position. Inhale, lift on the side. Exhale back. One more, inhale, lift, reach. Exhale back, relax, shake out your arm. <clears throat> I got the mumbles, sorry. Look, using the left hand, take the right one. Press through your fingers, pressing, th stretching through the wrist, elbows close to the body to start. Straighten your arm, pressing through the left palm. Go right before lockout. You don't want to lock out your wrist. Not wrist, elbow. Don't want to lock out your elbow. Bend, come back. Either the back of your hand or the fingers, draw them towards your bicep. And relax, roll it around. Big twists, rotations, go both ways. And relax. Shake it out. So we're going to imagine that we're dissected right here at below the rib cage and that um, we're going to try not to move the lower part of the body. We're gonna take a deep breath and then we're gonna exhale and round the shoulders forward, pulling the back inward. We're not trying to loop, move the bottom part, opening up the upper back ribs, tuck your chin into your chest, draw the shoulders up towards your ears and forward at the same time. Don't press your low back into the chair. Keep your low back tall and erect. And then slowly stack one vertebrae at a time to come back up tall. All the way to the crown. We're gonna do the same going the other direction, but we're gonna start it with the inhale. So on the inhale, start taking your heart up, shoulders back and down at the same time, head looks up. Pull the belly in to keep the low back from trying to arch. Breathe. Slowly start st stacking back into place. One vertebrae at a time, all the way to the neck, through the crown of the head. <clears throat> we're gonna go side to side, same thing. You're gonna stay tall through here, so we're not gonna crunch. 
our hip and hip and uh, rib cage together. So we're going to start with our right side. So we're gonna take our left hand on our left shoulder, deep breath to lengthen through the spine. And then you're gonna lean over to the right without bringing your right hip up. Keep both hips square. It's much smaller than if we were to utilize both. So you wanna feel the difference, pull that right hip up and press that right rib cage down and it's much bigger it's through the whole spine. Now press that hip back down, press it into the chair and it straightens out your low back. Relax, stack one at a time, release. We go to the other side, right hand on your shoulder. Keep both sit bones, press down, inhale, lift, lengthen first, and then raise the shoulder to the out, or elbow to the outside and lean a little bit. Keep pushing that left hip down. If you wanna transition between the two, draw the left hip up, press the left rib cage down opening more on the whole side of the spine. Back to just the upper spine, press the hip down, lift the ribs off of the hip bone, keep the belly drawn in. Elbow down, start to restack one at a time. And relax, gentle twist. Keep your belly button rod forward. Don't allow your belly button to move. Utilize rotation with the shoulders, the upper back. You can, can do it with the neck too as well, but don't let that belly button move. And relax, roll your shoulders around. All right, get this out of the way. I'm gonna scooch forward, warm up our legs a little bit. <clears throat> Coming forward on the seat of your chair, root both sit bones. We're going to lift our right leg and just bring it over here to that 90 degree angle. we we'll lift it and bring it back. Take it back and forth at your own pace. Try and breathe with it. You can do it straight legged if you want to do it straight leg. For some reason, if I do it with a bent leg, I feel a little pinch, like a tendon is flipping over a bone or something like that. But if I do it straight leg, even though it's a little more intensive, I don't get that little pinch deep in my groin. So find the one that's more comfortable to you. You have half straight hat and you know a less bent leg i'm not getting it with a less bent leg either but your hip flexor is probably getting tired relax shake that leg out let's do the other one readjust up tall left leg just take it out there to that 90 degree angle and bring it back keep your knee over the ankle the whole time if you have a bent leg keep them lined up knee ankle toes all lined up whether you do it straight leg or bent leg or kind of bent leg. And relax, shake out your leg. Worked on the hip flexors, little tiny muscles attached to our back, turn to the left. One cheek on and one cheek off, drop the right knee, relax the back foot, shoulder, hip, knee should be lined up. Bring the right arm out to the side in the T position, deep breath, lift. Exhale, bring that arm right across over to the back of the chair, or you can put it on your thigh if the back of the chair is too far away. 
lengthen through the crown, pull the belly in. And I want you to breathe into your back. So your shoulders both roll forward a little bit. And keep your belly in. One more breath. On the exhale, start rotating back. Draw the leg up. Take the foot forward, toes to the ceiling. Lengthen through the crown, soft knee bend. Hand on the hip, deep breath. Exhale, start to lean forward. So you just start to feel a stretch and then pause. This time I want you to breathe in the top of your chest. Feeling your heart raise towards your chin. Keep the belly pulled in. Relax the toes, draw the foot up. So both feet are next to each other, both knees are next to each other. And I want you to just do a little twist to grab either the left outer thigh or the back of your chair. And I want you to lower your hip that's not on your right hip. I want you to make it lower than the left one. Stretching through this QL right through here, through the top of your very top of your glute. Reaching either the left outer thigh or the back of the chair, whichever's in your wheelhouse, whichever you can reach, don't yank on it. Just let that hold butt cheek and hip drop. Pull the belly in, use the belly to lift it back up, lengthen through the crown and let's walk around to the other side. Starting with the drop of the knee, Shoulder, hip, and knee are all lined up. Foot is relaxed in the back. You can always put your foot on a pillow or a blank, rolled up blanket or something if you need some support. Bring your left down arm out to the side in a T position. Deep breath. Exhale, start to rotate to the right. Either put the hand on the outside of the left thigh or bring it to the back of the chair. Pull the belly in, lengthen, and I want you to breathe into your back. Allow the shoulders to gently roll forward slightly, creating more space for the back. Keep the belly in. Trying to keep the leg that is dropped relaxed. On your next exhale, start to slowly rotate yourself back. Slide the foot forward, toes to the ceiling, hand to your hip, deep breath. Exhale and start to come forward with a flat back. Go until you just start to feel a stretch. Just start to feel it. It's not super uncomfortable, but you, you feel it. You could go further, but you're not going to at the moment keeping your knee softly bent. Breathe into your chest, allowing the heart to lift to your chin. And just keep the belly in as you exhale, everything straightens back out. Next exhale, slowly come up, slide your foot in so both hip, knees and feet are not squeezed together, but they're next to each other. 
a little twist to either grab the outside of your right thigh or to grab the back of the chair, whichever is more comfortable. And then I want you to go ahead and allow that left hip to drop off the cliff. Breathe into your side. Breathe into this QL muscle that is right here in the low back area. The muscle is, it really looks like the size of a postcard. It's a square muscle. It's the only square muscle we have. There's one on each side of our spine, right over the, the bone of our, of our hip bone. You feel that little bony point on each side. Pull the belly in, start inhaling and lifting that hip back up, rotating back forward, walk your feet forward, your body forward. Shake it out. All right, we're gonna get up and we're going to do some um, balance. Take the back of the chair to your to one to your side, or you can put the front of the chair in front of you so you can move side to side of it. I don't want to cover myself up. So we're going to start on one side. I'm starting on my left side. If you're mirroring me, you might be starting on your right side. So I will do my best to not say left and right. <clears throat> so put the weight of your body on the foot closest to the chair. And I want you to point the toe out to the side, but keep the toe on the ground. But the majority of your weight is right here next to the chair. And I want you to imagine if you could take that this, this uh, long muscle, your thigh muscle, if you could pull it up like a pair of stockings, you could pull it up into your hip to pull the knee cap up. Feel what it feels like to try and draw that muscle up. Using the, using the chair for balance, see if keeping that muscle up or in engaged can allow you to just barely take weight off of this toe out here. Drawing up, lifting up. The toe might be bouncing on and off the mat as you try and find your stability. Keep that thigh engaged and relax. We're gonna switch sides. I'm just gonna turn around. You can move your chair. Put your weight on the other foot now that should be closest to the chair and point the outside foot. Majority of your weight should be next to the chair on that foot, rooted into the ground. You still have weight on the outside toe, that's fine. Now work on that thigh. Imagine drawing it up like you're pulling on pantyhose. You're probably gonna feel it in the back of your thigh as well. You might feel some in your butt. Everything is attempting to draw that thigh up. Find the stability in that strength. Use the chair for balance if you need to and really start to try and lift weight off of the outside toe. You don't have to take it off the mat necessarily. You can practice tapping the mat a little bit if you want. Draw that weight, use the leg muscles to lift and support. Find your balance, embrace the wiggle. Breathe and relax. Weight over both feet. I'll use some big thigh muscles. If you're not warm now, then I, you got bigger problems than I can help you with. Whew. All right, flip your chair around so the seat of the chair faces you at the end of your mat so we can utilize the length of the mat. 
stand a good two feet away from your chair. Hands on your hips to start right in that crease where you're gonna, so they're not up here on your hips, they're down here where your the crease of your bend is. Deep breath, lengthen, heart up. Exhale, bend right at that crease, right over those fingers. Keep your back straight, soften your knees if you need to, if it's too much stretch. And then you can transition the hands to the chair for balance. So imagining you're in a nice number seven position. Your back is flat and parallel with the floor. Your butt is back in space from your heels. Your knees do not have to be straight. They can be comfortably bent. I want you to peek down at your knees and your toes. Turn your toes, your feet, so they're directly forward. And then draw your knees right over your second toe. So you're gonna be engaging through your legs. Imagine spinning your thighs forward and out. Keep the belly pulled in, keep that flat back. After you've peeked down there and checked everything out, bring your head back to look at the back of your chair. Lengthen from your tailbone to your crown. Lift your right arm forward in space, reaching from your tailbone, right tailbone to right fingertips. Pull the belly in. Bring the hand down. Left side, reach from left tailbone, not left tailbone, left sit bone. I said right tailbone earlier, didn't I? I mean left sit bone to left fingertips. Draw the belly in, strong legs down. Take the right arm to the outside like an airplane. Palm is down. I want you to flip the palm so that it's up. And I want you to lead with a thumb and I want you to slide that into the small of your back, right over your butt cheek, right into the small of your back. Breathe. Slide it out, back to airplane. Flip your palm down, bring it back in. Left arm out. Palm down to begin. Flip palm up. Lead with your thumb, slide it parallel with the floor, right up over the butt cheek into the small of the back. And slide it back out. Flip your palm down, return it back to the chair. Go ahead and allow your upper body to come down, either forehead to the chair, elbows to the chair, or you can go to a forward fold. Bend deeper into your knees to release any stretch that you had going on. Rock side to side. Inhale to a half lift. So straighten yourself back to number seven. Exhale down. Another one, inhale, half lift, squeeze your butt. Exhale down. Inhale all the way up. Squeeze through the legs, press to the feet. And exhale down and shake it out. Strong legs today. And now I'm like really warm, but such is life. We're going to go to the floor. And we're actually gonna do some stuff on our side. So if you need a little extra padding underneath, cause we're gonna lay on our side. If you need a little extra padding under the side of your hip, you can get that. If you, I, my hips are bigger than my shoulders. So I have a tendency to want some padding in this part here between my hip and kind of a little bit under my rib cage. Like so, so it's totally up to you. We're gonna lay on our side. I want to have your, I'm starting on my right, but it really doesn't matter. Did you have your knees bent, stacking your hips and your knees. 
Your top leg, I want you to straighten it right out in line with your, the rest of your body. Flex your foot. And I want you to take that upper arm overhead, allowing a little gravity to stretch that side of our body. Now I want you to breathe into this upper rib cage here. Feel the rib cage actually lift up slightly as you breathe. Relaxing the arm overhead. The foot is softly flexed, but you can relax that knee on that upper leg. If relaxing the knee is too much stretch, you can keep that leg active. And relax, draw your arm, slide your arm down in front first. You can put it on the mat in front of you to help support you. Slide your foot up, keep it out there, but slide it up so that your knee goes to the ceiling. Your hips are gonna roll back a little bit, that's okay. Draw both feet together like you got a sideways butterfly happening. And then draw your tailbone forward, pressing your hip forward. Just breathe for a minute. And close the knees. And you can roll over onto your other side. I'm actually gonna get up and flip. Get my cushion figured out. I take it right below, the cushion is right, actually right above my hip bone and extends up over under my rib cage. It's the most, most, I actually sleep like this on my side with a pillow in bed as well. Bend your knees to start. Slide your upper leg out straight with your body, a soft flex of your foot, keeps it engaged. Upper arm drapes over your ear, over your head. Breathe into the side of your rib cage. Try not to arch your back. You can relax the, the straight leg. You can relax the knee and it, it drops the leg further. If that's too much stretch, keep it straightened. Keep it activated. Start sliding the arm back down. Hand in front of your chest for support. Slide the foot up so the knee goes to the ceiling foot flat on the floor and then bring your bent leg on the floor together so you have feet touching. Squeeze the glutes, press the hip forward. And then just close your butterfly, close your knees. and transition yourself to your back. Get any of your support apparatuses out of the way. Lengthen your spine, walk your feet to the outside edges of your mat. Open your knees up so that they are also towards the outside edges of your mat. And I want you to with your legs open, I want you to flatten and arch your back. And I want you to do it without using your low back muscles. Squeeze your butt real hard and it lifts and flattens your spine. When you relax, 
legs. It starts to make an arch and then lift your belly, press your belly up to make a little bit more of an arch so you don't use your back. Pause at a neutral spine, drop both knees to the right. Put support underneath the outer right thigh if you need to. Bring your arms to T or cactus or Y. Turn your head left. We're not squeezing our glute. We're not pressing forward. You can flex your feet to protect your knees if you need to. You can engage your glutes if you have any back pull. Relax the palms of your hands. Breathe into the belly, big belly breaths. Focus on pushing that diaphragm down towards your pelvic floor, not pushing your belly towards the ceiling. So it's almost kind of a bear down kind of thing. I know when you bear down, you usually draw inward. This is with your breath instead of your muscles. And pull your belly in, squeeze your butt, draw your legs up. Realign if you need to, and then let them fall to the left. Coming out to the outside edges of your feet. Put some support underneath your outside left thigh if you feel any too much pull in your back. You can flex your feet or your knees if you need to. You can squeeze your butt to support your back as well. Squeezing your butt without pressing forward. Turn your head right. Relax the palms of your hands. Breathe into your belly. Press the diaphragm down towards your pelvic floor. Resist the urge to press the belly to the ceiling. Feel the belly button deflate towards the spine as you exhale. Don't control the exhale, really just let it go. Pull the belly in, squeeze the butt, start to bring the knees up, keeping them wide. Take your hands to your hips. So you have down on your hip joint where you would, if you bent your knee and brought your knee up, you'd squeeze that index finger. That's where I want your, your fingers, index finger. I want you to contract, arch and contract your back again, your spine using your butt. Squeeze your butt, curl your tailbone up and lift your right foot off the floor. Draw the right knee in. Put it back down. Keep the butt squeezed. Keep the abs strong. Lift the left leg up. Squeeze the knee in. Take it back down. Right knee up. Squeeze it in. Keep the butt squeezed, keep the belly strong. Down, bring the left one up. And down and relax. Relax your legs, your arms, your hands. Find your Shavasana posture, pose, posture. All of your creature comforts, blankets, pillows, support devices, whatever they may be.
hips and shoulders lined up. Arms out to the side, palms up. Eyes closed and covered if you'd like. Legs relaxed. Relax through your feet, the toes, sole of your foot, the arch, the top. Feel heavy feet. Relax up your ankles, calves, shins, into the back of your knees, tops of your knees, up your thighs, right into the hip socket. Feel heavy legs. Relax your hands, the fingers, the palms, the front, the back. Feel heavy hands. Relax up your wrists, forearms into your elbows, the crease of your elbow, up your upper arms, biceps, triceps, right into the joint of the arm, into the shoulder joint. Feel heavy arms. Relax the crown of your head, down over your forehead and eyes, back of your head, your jaw, your throat and neck. Feel heavy head. Heavy appendages attached to your torso. Relax the front of the torso, chest, belly. Releasing it to the back, to the spine, to the shoulder blades, hip bones. Feel heavy torso. Feel heavy body. Feel light heart, light mind, light breath. Release heavy body to floor. Release light heart, mind, and breath to the air, to the sky. The bright blue sky with the wispy white clouds. Floating. The bright blue sky that extends from horizon to horizon, from north to south, from east to west, with puffy, wispy clouds. See the reflection of the clouds in the water of the blue sky being mirrored back over the water. Feel the cool water on your heavy feet. Wading through the cool water to the mid calf. Feel the cool water on the heavy hands, cooling the wrists. Splashing the cool water down the arms, up the legs. Putting the cool fingers on the back of the neck with the cool water running down the spine. 
Feel the cool water splashed on your face. The breeze cooling the body. The sun beating down. The sky reflecting on the water. The cool spring fed water. Feel the little rocks under your feet. Smooth rocks, but you can make them out individually. See the bottom of the lake, body of water. See the sun twinkle off the rocks, off the water. See the little ripples of water as you walk and create little waves. See them travel further and further away. See a small fish jump and create its own little waves that begin to travel towards your own. Somewhere they meet and flatten. Feel the peace of the new day. Smell the water, the flowers. Feel the heat trying to combat your cooled off skin. Splashing with the water as you feel the heat increase. Feel the sun on your face, the sun on your back. The sun on the tops of your feet. Feel the breath in your lungs as you walk through the water. Slowly walking, it gets shallower and shallower until you've walked yourself right up out of there onto this warm rocks of the bank. the rounded, softened rocks that you can walk on without pain, but you can feel them beneath your feet. Feel the massage of the rocks on the bottom of your feet as you walk. Feel your arch cup the rocks. Feel your toes grip the rocks. Gently transitioning yourself from rock to soft grass. Feel the soft pillowy grass beneath your feet. Feel the soft dirt and earth beneath. As you gently walk around the water, seeing different things in the water, wood and rock, maybe some fish, just taking time to take in nature. You find a tree at the side of the water with a little bench and you take a seat and you look out over the water, feel the coolness of the shade beneath the tree, hear the leaves rustle above you. Feel the body at peace. Feel the bench against your back and against your sit bones. It feels like such a good day that you're just going to lay back on the bench, extend yourself out. Look through the leaves of the trees to the sky. See the filtered sun as the leaves blow around. Taking a nice deep breath. 
as you exhale your breath, I want you to feel the floor beneath you. I want you to feel the room you're in. Feel the heavy body, the heavy hands, the heavy feet. Feel the light mind return, the light heart and the light breath. Feel them in the heavy body. Bringing the peace back with you from your journey. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, rolling wrists and ankles, opening and closing knees and elbows, squeezing the glutes, shrugging the shoulders, arch and flatten the back, turn the head. Get some movement into the body. Gently draw one knee at a time in. Resting or rocking, it's up to you. Rolling over onto your side, stack your shoulders, hips and knees. Remember your journey. Remember to take time to smell the roses, watch the breeze on the trees, see the sun reflect on the waters. Gently peel yourself up into a seated position, lengthening through the crown. Drop your head forward. Lifting your head up, chin to the ceiling. Come back to neutral, turn your head right. And turn your head left. And bring your head forward. One more time, I want you to practice breathing into your upper chest for two big breaths. Letting your heart lift. Now breathe into your back for two big breaths, allowing your shoulders to roll forward. Making sure you sit back tall as you exhale. And two big belly breaths. Pressing your diaphragm down, not your belly forward. Drawing the belly actively in on the exhale. And relax your breathing. Right arm inhale up and over to the side. Big breath into the side body. Exhale back down left side. Up and over. Big breath into the side body, exhale down. And breathing with both arms, inhale, arms up. Gather that heavy air, lengthen through it, reach. Exhale, press that heavy air down. Lighten it up, inhale up, clouds, softness, pillows. Hands come together, exhale them down to your chest. You flutter your eyes open, bring yourself back, and namaste.